Hello, my name is Bernard Kast. Today I'm going to show you how to make a falling snow animation in PowerPoint. As always, at first, I show you what the animation looks like. Now I set this animation to loop forever. Hence, I will stop now the animation and show you how it's done. So we start from scratch, add a new slide, and first add a background and I want a picture here. So we select picture or texture fill and insert a file. And here we go, nice center background. And the next step is which probably is a little bit confusing, but will make way more sense later on. We insert the rectangle, which has exactly the same size as the slide. Auto snap works great here. Next step is to remove the outline. Go to shape outline, no outline. So now let's create the first snowflake. I suggest an oval here and hold shift while creating to have a perfect circle. Then go to shape fill. I recommend a gradient here. And now here we have three gradients. We just need one, I think. So we remove the one in the middle. And we select for both endings white, which might be counterintuitive, but the important part is it's the wrong one. You take the right one and set the transparency to like 50 or 60 so that we get a nice snowflake with transparency and also shape outline, no outline. So I keep the snowflake very basic because that's the easy part. Next step is you need to make more snowflakes, of course. So I copy it with control C. So fast forward, we have all our snowflakes and the background. So hit control A. Now all snowflakes and the rectangle are selected. We don't want to select the rectangle, so hold control and click the rectangle again. Now it isn't selected anymore. Next step is we want to group all these snowflakes into one big group. So hit the right mouse button and select group, group. The shortcut for this is control G. Now we have all the snowflakes in one group. We select the rectangle again, hold shift key and click the rectangle. And now we also group this together. And now we duplicate this group. Control D, here we go. Now I recommend to zoom out here a bit because we need to align this group perfectly together. This is what the whole rectangle thing is for. If we only have the snowflakes, we can proper align them because they're all in different positions and the alignment, the automatic alignment of PowerPoint isn't good enough to support this. So we have, we need to have an exact alignment over this. That is perfectly because the snowflakes will move down continuously and move up again in a loop. And if the position is not exactly the same, you get a stutter in the animation and you don't want to have that. The next step is when it's perfectly aligned to ungroup. You go to group, ungroup, and you do the same here, down. Now we have the rectangle separately and the both groups of snowflakes. Now we select both group of snowflakes and group them together. Here we go. 
And now we can delete the rectangles finally. And as you can see, since the snowflakes are white, we don't see them anymore. So now let's get to the final part, to the animation. Go to the animations tab and select the lines motion path. That was the preview. Select the red point with the mouse, left click, hold the shift key so that it moves in a 90 degree angle and move it to the edge of the slide. So the green point is where the animation starts and the red where it ends. Next step, go to the additional effect options. Here this little button down there in the right corner. Select smooth end to zero seconds and smooth start. And then go to the timing tab. I recommend the duration of five seconds and repeat until the end of the slide. Confirm. That's the preview running. I recommend saving here. And let's check it out if it works. Looks quite nice. Once you have this animation, you can copy it to any slide. Now I didn't come up with this tutorial on my own. It's originally from Lear. She has her own YouTube channel. I will link to her tutorial, which is a text tutorial with, with nice pictures in the description below. So check it out. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Please like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.